an expectant mother was moved to write a letter to her unborn child. This is like a second spring for Germany. The Führer is achieving great things, things no one had dared to believe possible. The Treaty of Versailles has been abolished and Austria has come home to the Reich. Germany is blossoming. After years of unemployment, people are working again. Everybody earns good money and our industry is getting stronger and stronger. These are historic times for our German Reich, my son. A 15-year-old member of the Hitler Youth wrote to his aunt and uncle in Britain. Dear Olive and Alfred, I haven't written to you because too many interesting things have been happening in Germany. Two weeks ago, I saw Hitler. He has made a great impression on me. We will struggle and die for him and our Germany. Much greetings from your Hans Ulrich and Heil Hitler. For years, the Nazis had been persecuting their enemies, especially German Jews. Werner Lehmann wrote to his friend in the United States in support of Nazi policy. Dear Howard, how are you fighting the Jews in your country? We finally got rid of them this year. It was high time, because the Jews were harming and infesting our people. They have plunged our people into high unemployment and financial misery. That's why we support our Führer and how he deals with the Jews. You still have too many Jews in your country. And that's why you have so many unemployed people. I feel sorry for you. We have a wonderful, peaceful life now. No Jew can agitate against our people anymore. All the best from Greater Germany. Yours, Werner. The annual sports parade in Moscow was captured in one of the first color films made in the Soviet Union. The country was completely under Stalin's control. The diary of Andrei Arzhilovsky. The portraits of our leaders are now displayed the same way icons used to be. A round portrait framed and attached to a pole. Very convenient hoisted onto your shoulder, and you're on your way. It's just the same as people used to do for church holidays. They had their activists then, we have ours now. Different paths, the same old bloody nonsense. The parades masked the reality of Soviet life. Starvation had killed six million people. The secret police had made mass arrests including many Red Army officers. Railway worker Yevtokim Nikolaev was a witness. Terror and violence are widespread. I keep hearing about arrests and searches going on everywhere around me. The courts are overflowing with people who are being put on trial for the sort of things that would have been encouraged before. Everybody is too frightened to think let alone speak out about their horrendous hunger and slavery. Yevdokim Nikolaev's diary was used as evidence against him. He was executed. During these pre-war years of terror, Stalin's purges claimed the lives of more than 700,000 people. The home movies of Hitler's mistress, Eva Braun, reveal the intimate circle that surrounded the Führer. Here in the mountains, Hitler would brood and plot. 
In the summer of 1939, he decided to invade Poland. But he had to make sure the Soviet Union would not defend the Poles in alliance with Britain and France. On August 23, 1939, Hitler made a deal with Stalin. His propaganda minister, Joseph Goebbels, recorded the sensational news in his diary. Yesterday, announced the non-aggression pact with Moscow. Great world sensation. The whole European power balance shaken. London and Paris can't believe it. The Führer has made a clever chess move. Let's see how the world will react to this smokescreen. Hitler's pact with Stalin contained a secret clause, an agreement to carve up Eastern Europe. One week later, on September 1st, 1939, Germany invaded Poland. Britain marched off to war. It is unbelievable, but true. At 11.15, Mr. Chamberlain spoke. This morning, the British ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note. He said that His Majesty's government had sent Hitler an ultimatum to withdraw their troops from Poland. There had been no reply, and the ultimatum had expired at 11 o'clock. We are now at war with Germany. This country is at war with Germany. It brought tears to one's eyes. Khaki-clad boys everywhere. The speeded-up evacuation of three million children and invalids from the cities all these things have come to us, a supposed civilized people. Warsaw has been bombed. German tanks and aeroplanes have been shot down. And war is once more striding across our world. By September 27th, Germany had conquered Poland. Teacher Chaim Kaplan witnessed the fall of his country. Beautiful Warsaw has been destroyed like Sodom and Gomorrah. There are streets which have been all but wiped off the face of the earth. In the midst of the ruins, thousands of human beings lie buried. Hitler now turned his attention to the West. At the outbreak of the war, Britain prepared for the worst. An air raid drill was conducted at a school in Hove, Sussex. In the months that followed, it all seemed a bit quiet for a war. Miss Vivian Hall was a shorthand typist from Putney. This war seems remote from us as yet. The quiet nights and days, in contrast to the constant and destroying air raids we expected, are bewildering. But we are certain they will come sooner or later. We're all waiting for the heavens to throb into life with hundreds of planes, which will pour fire, gas and death upon us. But fire, gas, and death didn't come. Tonight, children, everywhere, your mommy thinks of you tonight. Blow your father away, she's a 